Hey, it's Michael, and I continue my case study with my Project 200. And in this video, I wanted to talk about, you know, learning how to submit business to the carrier that you're going to work with. So what I decided to do once I kind of decided the product that I wanted to sell, and I had a couple of those, is that then I would figure out, okay, if I want to sell that product, what do I have to do to get that product in place at the company? And that's called the underwriting process. So you need an application, other disclosures, you know, and all those things. Uh, and then there's specific underwriting requirements depending on the amount of life insurance I sold and uh, you know certain minimums and those kind of things. So what I did is I just reached out to the carrier and I said, hey, you know, I want to make sure that I understand this. Uh, one thing they gave me was access to all of their online stuff. So I have access to most of the forms and paperwork that I need. Um, and so I guess really the first thing is once they gave me that access is I went in there and I found all the sales material. I found all the applications that were specific to that product for the state that I was working in. And then after that, then I contacted the carrier and I actually talked to the underwriter and I said, Hey, you know, what do I do? And so there's usually some point of contact that you can, you can talk to and say, Hey, who is it that I talked to here to kind of figure this process out? And I just actually talked to the underwriter because it's important to me that I submit good business and when it's submitted to the company, it's what they need and I don't have any delay and it'll get back to me. And not only that, when you understand the underwriting process from your perspective of what you got to get, when you talk to your, um, you know, potential clients, you're going to have to walk them through how that process is going to work. So you want to make sure that you know what the process is. So you need the product knowledge and then you need to know the underwriting process to get that insurance in place. And, uh, you know, that goes a long way because when you sit down with people, you know, they don't want to be surprised. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to have to give you a blood and urine sample and go through all these kind of hoops. Say, I don't want it. So you've got to explain to people, okay, if you get this much insurance, these are the requirements uh, or, you know, whatever it is that you're selling, that's just kind of how it works on the life insurance side. So uh, main thing here, under, understand how the underwriting process works and how to submit business to the carrier that you're working with. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below, and I will talk to you in the next video when we talk about the next thing I did on the Project 200.